were not, you made a reference to the Japanese in World War II, and your position tonight is that that was not a reference to internment camps. Oh, is no, that right? absolutely. I was quite frankly, I was actually shocked that you, you brought in internment camps, but it was a reference strictly to the uh, scrutiny on immigration and the stopping of immigration and the registration of a immigrants coming from places like Japan and Italy and Germany and things like that. So, no, it had nothing to do with internment camps whatsoever. Okay, but you didn't say that you were shocked. Here is, here is what happened between us last night when we were talking about this proposal by Chris Kobach um, to, to check out Muslims at the border. Listen. They're discussing drafting a proposal to reinstate a registry for immigrants from Muslim countries. For immigrants from Muslim countries. Yeah, and, and perfectly, perfectly honest, it is legal. They say it'll hold constitutional muster. I know the ACLU is going to challenge it, but I think it'll pass. And we've done it with Iran back uh, back a, a while ago. We did it during World War II with Japanese, which, you know, call it what you Come will. On. Maybe, maybe you're wrong. Not, but you're not proposing we go back to the days of internment camps, I hope. No, no, no. I'm not proposing that at all, Megan. But what I am you know saying is that we need to protect that. America I mean, that's, that's the kind of stuff that gets people scared, Carl. Right. But it's, I'm just saying there is precedent for it. And I'm not saying I agree with it. Right. So, I mean, there wasn't shock expressed. There was saying, hey, there's precedent for it, which is what got people, you know, confused. But I take you at your word if you're saying you were referencing something else. You were trying to yeah. make a different point. I, well, I, it was referenced in parallel with Iran when we, uh, you know, under Jimmy Carter, when we banned immigration from Iran. So I assume that, forgive me for not being as clear as I possibly could, but I never... Because you, you mentioned the Japanese in World War II. Yeah, no, I did, but I did not ever mention internment camps. So, I, you know, for those out there who thought it was... I know, but that's kind of the big story about what well, we did here to the Japanese. Well, that's because you put, you put words out there, Megan, and let's be honest, the media had Only happy to run Only after you them. put out the words about what we did to the Japanese in World War II, which is well, like, okay, I remember that. Yeah, well, I tell you what, you know what, I think the left-wing media took this by the horns because they're not a fan of Donald Trump, but this is exactly why he run, because of the dishonest media. Not saying you. Okay. Okay, well, listen, I understand you're clarifying yeah. it. Got it. Hassan, let me bring you in on what Carl is actually saying tonight, which is he supports this proposal. You just heard our lawyer saying it would be upheld in a court of law um, to say Muslims coming into the country from countries where terror originates or where there's a terror problem that they, would, that they could be forced to submit to this.